before that, I didn't even want a sequel. So it's hard to find that balance for me where I was like, okay, this movie is really good, but I think it would be improved by having another one, I guess. Right. But uh, I, we I, didn't, I we didn't, you, you already, you went ahead and hit, you went ahead and I was going to put on this cool little, this little countdown, Arturo. Oh. And you okay. jumped the gun That's, on me. Well, I did. I thought you it's wanted to go ahead now. And... No, I'm t- teasing. It's okay. It's all right. Anyways, not... I can go back to talk about that game. I'm trying no, to figure out what I want to buy. Here. Physical or digital? Uh, Simon was asking you what game it was. I, w- I said it was Toy Soldiers. Oh, okay. Um, uh, what's just... the difference? Hey, Drew. Well, what's I, the difference? I mean, one's just physical and the other's just digital. Um, the digital is mean, only price. thirty dollars, but but the physical on Amazon they're selling it for like forty. So I'm oh. I'm debating like should I just get it digitally or should I just yeah physically I don't know it's I'm I'm getting OCD about it oh well um, oh yeah you can't help me because you're not a gamer I no see. I can't I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this get this thing started so the topic today you guys is in conjunction with the one we did last month which was three movies that needed a remake. <laughs> We're going to talk about three movies that need a sequel. Oh, that's a good one, Drew. That's a good one. Did you see what Drew said? Yeah, I actually Spoiler. had that thought. Spoiler. I have that. Yeah, let's... I... <laughs> I, I'm in agreement with Drew. I would agree. Um, I, didn't pick, agree. I didn't pick that one, but I would agree. Okay. There was a movie I, I actually picked four because one of my choices I feel like fifty fifty someone else is gonna say. So Simon had multiple ones that he picked. He, like we were narrowing it down to three, but he had some that he was wanting to include as honorable mention. Yep. And he um, wondered if that should be something that that was talked about before or after. And I think we should throw out honorable mentions. Just go ahead and start off with the honorable mentions. I don't have any because I only picked three. But if you guys want to share your honorable mentions, I'll I'll save one because, like I said, I think I have three, and then it's kind of like I have a backup if you guys end up not mentioning. Oh, okay. So then it's just Simon with his honorable mentions. I could yeah, maybe I decide. Two. Now he's got to think about it. <laughs> which one's on an honorable mention? Which one I'm going to go with? Um... Go with what your gut tells you. Like well, okay, one that see one is cheating because I'm just stealing it from Red Letter Media. What is but it? But that's not that's not cheating. Gremlins three. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Actually, yes. Yeah, so uh, let's go with that. Let's start with that. Let's. It's you know fun. what? There was uh, supposed to be a Gremlins three last year. Did you ever watch the Gremlins two Keen Peel sketch? So I. Um, I remember no. mentioning it. It's really funny. Like, I. Two- I no, I if you ever get around to watching it, it's so funny. The Keen Peel Gremlins 2 sketch, where it's like a boardroom as they're pitching Gremlins 2. It's really oh, funny. Oh, gosh, that's funny. I No, I have not seen that. I'm sure it's hilarious because they're hilarious. Yeah. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Uh, now, this is the... Stage? Yep, this is the oh, okay. Red Media Gremlins 3 pitch, which I've okay. obviously, ever since they pitched it, it is amazing. And, and in our Gremlins yeah. 3 pitch, we said that Daniel Clamp is now president of the United States. Yes. And the Gremlins take over the White House. Billy Peltzer is the artist for the White House. He draws the, he's doing this portrait. Oh, okay. The official presidential portrait. <laughs> <laughs> when the Gremlins outbreak occurs. Yeah. Like, who's, who's this guy? He's my Gremlins expert. <laughs> he's my Gremlins <laughs> I picture Gremlins all jumping in to oh the my reflecting gosh. pond in the National Mall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Snuffing out the, the eternal flame at the, the Kennedy <laughs> oh, Memorial. Um, you could do an Abraham Lincoln joke with the Cates. Don't ever mention Lincoln. It was Abraham Lincoln's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a scene where the gremlins are like infesting uh, Congress and they're all like dressed like senators? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're passing gremlins bills. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, nay, yay, nay. <laughs> the criminals are passing legislation. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're doing a better job than me. 
economy is going up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should leave these gremlins in charge of the government. <laughs> Then they just start like bombing random countries. Yes, yes. <laughs> Gremlins start launching nukes. So it becomes a global scale. And, like Liechtenstein. <laughs> the Gremlins have declared war on Liechtenstein. <laughs> it's Where fucking we actually... Gremlins 3. Okay, it's Flat Out Gremlins 3. Okay, and we have President okay. Clamp. I think we've got a movie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, they got really tickled at them their own selves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> okay, well, so there's supposed um, to be one. Yeah. We'll see if it ever... Eventually. Yeah, there, yeah, it was supposed to come out last year, and then, of course, we see that didn't really happen at all, so... Okay, other honorable mentions are True Lies. Great movie, but I don't really see where it would go, now that everyone, now that the cat's out of the bag. Oh, was that one of your sequels, Finn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I remembered? It's okay. We can still talk about it. You know what I right. remembered? We we forgot to share dates. Yeah. Remember how oh. we were sharing dates? But I was I was just like, this week has just been insane. So I had was not on top of it all. Oh mm -hmm. well. It's okay, go we, ahead, keep going. Could always go with King Conan. Um <laughs> The other one is Who Friend Roger Rabbit. Great movie, but nice. The thing about it was that it was done in Perfect. the log age, and nowadays they do it digitally, and it just wouldn't be the same. Right. I remember, that was on a D's Perfect Movies list, I believe. Was it? I it, it was. Was, it was, was, yeah, one of his perfect... I, I think it was when we had that stream. Another one is The Goonies. Oh, oh The Goonies, now yeah. they're the adults, and they have kids. Um, yep. Yep. Exactly. For sure. Don't really know where you would take it. It just like be... if they grew up, it, yeah. If That's they had like really an adventure good. as an adult, as adults, I mean, and got into some really trouble. Good. Yeah. Yeah, but it would just be like Google it, rather than yeah. go and figure out this mystery. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, true. Um. So yeah, let's go with that. So I have a bit of a selection to go with. Okay. So, Sin, those what's your good. first movie? Those are all good choices. Would it, would it be True um, Lies by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, I was quickly changing. I was quickly changing it. Because you, well, okay, now I feel stuck. I don't know. I don't know which one I should choose now, um, to be honest. Okay, well, we can talk. Okay, well, I'm going to cheat. And I'm just going to throw both of them out there then at the same mm -hmm. time. Okay, so hold on. Let me present. Let me share my screen. I am so not on top of it, you guys. It's insane because it's been a crazy day. So here we go. All right, let me pull it up. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> Hold on, let me open it. There we go. All right. Sorry, tell me if you can... Can you see that? Is it big? There's, spo there's spoilers, but I'm not looking at... Oh, shoot, are. don't look. Don't I'm look. I'm going to remove... Gosh I darn mean, it. I can, I can <laughs> see that they were there, but I specifically Sorry. didn't... Sorry. Look at what they were. All right. I'm, what I forgot to do was open the picture first and then share the picture. My gosh. Mm -hmm. Can you tell it's been a day? It's been a doozy of a day, officer. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to stop that screen and then I'm going to present my other one. <clears throat> there we go. So, Yes. I had picked True Lies, <laughs> but I was thinking about it a little bit today before you even said what you said, Simon, mm -hmm. about I'm not quite sure really where it could go unless it delves into their life together as a couple being a spy. They touch on it very mm -hmm. briefly at the very, very end, but it's not quite the same. So... I mean, That's the reason just, they ultimately rejected it is because it would be a different movie, because the whole conceit yeah, of the thing was exactly he's keeping the secret. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share the thing you mentioned. <laughs> I'm going to cheat. Let me make this picture smaller. Yes, make this bigger. <clears throat> Drag it up to my other. Okay, here we go. Um, stop screen percent. 
Sorry, there's like this whole thing I have to do. Where the heck? You guys, I have been in full hype mode for Furiosa. I'm watching. Oh, I they they played the trailer. Um, Did you get played... excited? <clears throat> no, because I'm not super excited about it in general. Oh. But um, oh. I'll pro I mean oh. I. I wasn't super crazy about uh, the other one, but I'll probably watch this. Okay, so can you see it now? Oh, sweet. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... Arnold again. Simon gave me that suggestion. I don't know why this one didn't come to me immediately. Probably because I like True Lies I like, more. I like that, though. But that would be cool. I feel like we honestly, and I felt this way for years, obviously, we need a King Conan movie arnold's at the right age he could buff himself back up a little bit but still present himself as he's he's definitely frail more frail and all they really need to do is sit in the throne and look menacing like this yeah exactly that would so, be sweet that i would be sweet. It, it it has been something they have talked about forever but nothing has ever come to pass, and I don't, I, I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's just they haven't come up with a screenplay that has been decent, or if there's been some legal stuff that's caused a problem. But I feel like if they could make an, a true, like the, if they could make this third movie, this would be a really. I mean, granted, the second movie is weaker, but if they could wrap it up with a really solid story, some sort of final battle he has to like maybe there's conflict with his son maybe this final battle he has to engage in and then maybe he dies in battle or dies as an old man or whatever i just feel like it would be it would be so great if they could wrap this story up so i wish they'd go, hurry up and get a move on i would like that I'd like a big budget fantasy like old-fashioned fantasy because they yeah. lots of movies like this and i feel like I don't know, like, they still do, like, they had that Jason Momoa Conan, which wasn't that bad, but I feel like I don't want the kind of cheap CG version that they mm -hmm. kind of do. I want, like, a big budget, you know, epic in scale, like, kind of like the old one from the 80s or whatever, but, with like... practical effects. With with nicer production. But, yeah, mm -hmm. practical effects, but just, you know, 2024 level uh, special effects of production. Not she could be off and waste to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, I think this would be, I, I think this would be fantastic. I, I kind of, you know, the more time it goes on, I doubt it's going to happen, but I, I, you can only hope, I guess. It, so. it reminds me of something that I wasn't really going to mention, but it popped in my head in terms of movies that need a sequel. Only because I remember it still sticks in my head as a little kid, like nine or ten years old. Masters of the Universe. He oh. Report, and how, I mean, that movie was weird. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I still liked it as a kid. And at the end, Skeletor pops up, like after the credits, his head pops up. And he's like, I'll be back or something like that. And you're oh, like, I forgot about that. We're going to make another one. And then they never did. And I still remember... Like, God, I wish they would have made another Masters of the Universe and make it more like none of the real world stuff, but the whole thing is in the fantasy world and you see more of the characters from the show. So that that did cross my mind, but it wasn't I couldn't take it seriously enough to me. Yeah, it's best left as an artifact of the eighties. I, I was a bit disappointed with that movie, to be honest. Um I really used to like the cartoon and yeah. um I used also, to have a crush on He Man. Stuff. Yes, I know it was an animated he was well, an animated that, character, but I had a that whole thing. I, I thought he like, was cool, and I liked him. I liked Tila, um, but yeah, that's why I had a crush on an animated female. Right, character. Sango, you wanted to you wanted to marry her. But I wanted I to her, and I wanted to marry her. <laughs> I wanted to get to some of these uh, some of these comments. Uh, we've got here a suggestion: Vampire in Brooklyn. I see. There's a piece like. Do you think you could do like an animated workout video with He Man? Who? An animated workout video with He-Man, like showing could, like the perfect form because it's animated. Could who do it? What do you mean? I'm sorry. No, could it could it, it be made? Could An animated one... workout video with He-Man. Yeah, that would work. 
<laughs> it might potentially because you could draw perfect form and he wouldn't mm -hmm. get tired. He could do he could do reps endlessly. Exactly. <laughs> hey keto simple. Um let's see. Yeah, think about Master of the Universe is like it starred uh Courtney Cox That's and crazy. Tom Paris right. from Voyager. I I remember Courtney yes, Cox. Courtney Cox was in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, she wow. was. And yeah. Tom Paris um, from Voyager. I don't that remember. Actor? I don't remember I don't him. Either. I'd probably have to see no. his face. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I'm jealous of your buddy, Keto Simple. That's crazy. Tell him to tell Arnie I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's a super fan out there. S super fan. Complete in inspiration for me. Absolutely shaped my life. Um, you think you'd be able to handle it if you met Arnie? I probably wouldn't. I'd probably, That's I cool. don't know not no. even know what the hell to say i i would be in complete idiot um i would still love to say <laughs> hi to him but you know but i i know i'd probably be so stupid you try to say hi and you just be like you think you're taking the piss <laughs> i would i would not know what the heck i'm even saying so i would love to but uh I don't know. You know, he's been such a big deal for me pretty much my entire adult, teen, teenage and adult life. That's a good uh, suggestion here. Last Action Hero. Getting a sequel. That yeah, was a cool. real, that was a real. Um, Last Action Hero, Deadpool crossover. Oh, that would be hilarious because they're both so self-aware. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would be awesome. Dude, can you, can you share those pictures at some time? Like maybe on your Twitter or something i would love to see them if if that your is friend so cool. is comfortable with sharing them i would absolutely love to see uh, or there's then, discord he's got to be yes that's he's right still got the sword man he is king Conan. <laughs> right i know he's been trying to make it happen like Arnold, it hasn't been for throne. lack of, it hasn't every, been what's that i was like every other shot is you sitting on the throne Conan. come on like Arnold, <laughs> you know like just sit there and look menacing we yeah, have to get, definitely have to get that mean. shot at the end of conan the destroyer must yeah, he just that. has to stand up and pick up the sword once. And yeah. have this big beard. That yes. would be, oh, it would just yeah. be so, see, I mean, I'm writing the story in my brain. Um, yeah. The subject today, Enigma, is three movies. We each pick three movies that need a sequel. Oh, sorry. Like, it's already been, it's already been answered. Game of, Game of Thrones style, Conan. Game old, of Thrones style, Conan, King, yeah. Old King Arnold, and it's all dark, and it's like the atmosphere. And yeah, he's got the it's, it's, it's not the Iron Throne, but it's a, it's, a, it's a moody, scary throne with that big beard. And like King Conan is like, what? No silliness <laughs> like what yeah. was in the no second silly. movie. Yeah. Um, that would be interesting. The Accountant was a really good movie. That's we just cool. started. And it's in, the first mention was True Lies slash Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, because that had already been thrown out there. Um, that's cool. He came to my brother's school when my brother was in elementary and um, he had no idea. He, he just like completely had no clue like what was the big deal about him. <laughs> so oh, damn. He said he just remembered seeing a bunch of kids around him like over there. That's... <laughs> Which is funny because then that brother's the one that ended up becoming a bodybuilder yeah. because of Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> and he saw him and didn't care. Yeah, because he, he, no, he was just a little kid, you know, he, he just didn't know. Okay, it's so it's so your weird. turn. <laughs> to be like, I saw one of my all-time favorite celebrities, but I didn't care because at the time I didn't know who they were. Because I didn't know who the heck he was, right? <laughs> oh, my so goodness. It's crazy. Artur, are you ready or do we need to go counterclockwise? Um, I mean, I could, I could mention it. I mean, this is already kind of a... <laughs> Can you share your screen? Do you have a picture? You have a picture. I was going to suggest a uh, jumper. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, okay. I always thought like that should have gotten like. Okay, hold on. A sequel. I'll, and I'll it make it. Have, uh, oh, geez. It could have expanded the world a little bit more. Let me put it up on the screen. Does that have Hayden Christensen? Yes. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Justin Timberlake or Hayden Christensen? No, uh, yeah, Hayden Hayden Christensen. Can you see it okay? Right. 
Okay, yeah. there we go. So, yeah, that was one of the first ones that came to me as well. So that's a good Yeah, I think, it just, I think it could have just... Uh, I could have expanded on the lore some more. He could go, go just go anywhere. I forget what his power was. Yeah, he could basically he jump, could to jump to anywhere. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a nightcrawler. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. And, and it was really interesting the way some of the fights happened. Mm -hmm. They'd be jumping here and jumping there and jumping yeah, there and jumping, jumping there. Jumping everywhere. And Samuel L. Jackson was a bad guy going after them. And this movie was actually a, one of the few examples of um, being better than the book. Better than the book. Yeah, oh, really? I I wasn't super crazy with the book. Um, because it just mostly turned into him pining over this some chick. And it was boring. But the um, the movie was much better. And I did have more appreciation for it when I rewatched it in preparation for the live stream discussion we did for 2008. Mm -hmm. Okay, Arturo. Problem I have with that movie is that over here, Jumper is a synonym for sweater. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, that's, like, that's right. I, you might yeah. have a movie called Sweater. Yeah. <laughs> sweater. <laughs> but it's not the only... That that would probably be the first thing you think of. Yeah, it's though. like the default sort of. And he's always wearing a different sweater in the movie, which really <laughs> makes it extra. Oh well, okay, all right. So that's uh, one of the duplicates we've got. All right. So Colin, your turn. I mean, uh, well, sorry, I'm... Simon, your turn. I'm telling you, it's been a day, y'all. It's been a day. Okay. Get thirty back <laughs> together. No, okay. I hear it's Chris Sass, Chris Sass, Chris Here we Sass. go. The oh. Rocketeer. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Which is... That's a, a good it was, one. It's just a fun little romp, and it's yes. an origin story of the Rocketeer. And where we take it now, I don't know. It would probably have to be, like, another sort of soft reboot where someone discovers the helmet. And I thought they were making stuff. a sequel. I don't know. Unless they canceled hey, it. I remember. That was, such, like, a big movie... Or maybe it felt like a big movie too, because I was like seven or eight when it came out. I think ninety one. I think yeah. 91. Oh, I was yeah, ninety one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it felt like a big deal. And then it was almost too adult for me at six. I think mm -hmm. I remember like I didn't understand a lot of it. Oh, like, that's another one I forgot. I wouldn't want another mm -hmm. origin story though. I would want him to now like he starts off as the Rocketeer. But oh yeah, care. but like it's set in the thirties, so. Like, like, oh, maybe make one, set. make one set. That's in the what movie. I heard about the sequel being set in the '60s, mm -hmm. but uh, I have not heard nothing else since then, so I don't even know if it's even being made or not. I love that. What is that? That uh, Art Deco look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that well, it's, it's really streamlined, but yeah. Yeah, this was, uh, uh, I remember the first time I saw it, I felt a little disappointed in it. Uh, like, it just didn't, I don't know. It, I, I don't know what I was expecting, mm -hmm. but I, mm -hmm. it just felt kind of lackluster to me. And then when I rewatched it with Arturo yeah, aged well. several years back, yeah, it was actually really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was decent. Yeah, definitely. It's, it was solid. Uh, well, like, you know, it, thing, like, you know, like, movies were great back then. What what's that, Simon? I was saying I wonder if that's a comparative thing because all the movies were great back then, and then hmm. in modern times, there's like you know, yeah, yeah, like right. so many good and everything. So but, many yeah. good movies that it just flew under the radar. Mm -hmm. um, like back then, Disney was just like hitting a lot of cylinders. They had that. They had um, a year, two years earlier, they had The Little Mermaid, and this was oh, I yeah, think, also the right. same year with Rocketeer. This was also the same year as uh, Beauty and the Beast. They were having a lot of stuff. That's right, ninety one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, like Disney was really was good back, back in the day. When back they in the actually... day in the nineties, they had a lot of good stuff coming out. Wasn't Alan Arkin the mentor? Oh, it was. Yeah, was he? I don't even remember. Yep. Did you look him up just now? Yeah, it's on the screen. Okay. Oh, sorry. I had another tab. I was messing around. And then you with. got Jennifer Colony. Yeah. Connolly. Connolly. Yeah. Connolly. Yeah. Connolly. Oh, Timothy Dalton. Timothy Dalton of his most vicious. Dude from hey, Lock. Mike. I was going to say hey, maybe Mike. 
maybe this hot fuzz would be his most famous, but no, he's a fucking. Uh, oh, John guy. Locke played Howard Hughes. I totally forgot that movie. Who did? John Locke from Lost. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was it was an, actually a pretty stacked cast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of good talent in there. That's so crazy. I was thinking when that okay that came out in ninety one. It was about the mm-hmm. thirty, so it was sixty years later. And now, sixty years before now was sixty four, and it's like man, it's just another thing getting older. Like the I 60s. know, it sucks. Sixties doesn't seem that long ago. Like my parents were teenagers. right. But when I was a kid, the 30s seemed like ancient history. Right. Like, yeah, before World War II and black and white era, like, oh, so long ago. But it was the same distance of time as from here to 64. Uh, well, he's still a working actor, so. <clears throat> who is that? Who are you talking about? The guy who played Rocketeer. Oh, yeah. I, he was in Bram Stoke last... Dracula. I don't know. He was Dracula? He was in Bram Stoker's Dracula. He was he one of the, the suitors. Yeah. Okay. Um, one of the last things I saw him in, and I never finished. I th- it was a um, it was a science fiction show called Helix. I think uh, it was good. What I saw of it, I just never finished. One of those very many shows I, and it was years ago, like before I even had the channel. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember liking it was uh like some sort of i think it was like a something that would infect people it's almost like a parasite oh and i have a correction to make about yesterday the parasite live action show that i'm watching it's not japanese it's south korean which confused me because i thought parasite well me, Arthur, they, is yes, that it, is a japanese, it is a japanese, japanese anime. product <laughs> yeah okay but um I will say they the South Korea did adapt an, uh, a manga slash anime into a live action. Her sight was a lie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did so, but the anime, the actual anime, the anime is Japanese. It, it's a Japanese. That's manga. Japanese. Okay. Well, South Korea has gone and made Korea this has live action some Japanese show. products. That has happened. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that it did that the that the language sounded different. And then all of a sudden yeah. I saw audio Korean original. So, okay. I mistakenly said that it was Japanese. You can kind of tell the difference, sort of the difference between um, Cor- like Koreans and Japanese, how they look too. I can't <laughs> always. Me. That's racist. It is racist. Uh, but do have definitely the language sounds different. Like the Japanese well, yeah. language you know, is more say choppy. For saying how I can tell if someone's Asian because of the shape of their head. I can't hear you <laughs> say that. But I've anyway, always noticed that. You know, always, the, the, do you a, know the old joke about how you know the difference between Japanese and Chinese? No. Mm. Japanese sounds like they're taking a shit. They're like, oh, no, yeah, do you, do you. And Chinese sounds like they're getting shoved back up. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I have not heard that one. Maybe Enigma. <laughs> Language wise, you can God. tell who's like Japanese and who's Chinese. I can't. Uh, uh, I think uh, Chinese like sounds a little of like. Yeah, Korean uh, sounds a little more smoother. Um, Chinese like, sounds a little more uh, staccato. And Japan's. Um, Japanese Japan's a little bit more staccato as well. Like it's Chinese anyway. is like shoi 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 nyoi nyoi. Like the, you can just tell by the tone. The tone, like in, on the way they sound, very different. <laughs> right, uh, right. <laughs> well, the thing is, my my taxes, which I've been fighting with all day. I have a head had a headache before the show started. The my taxes, are like no. My YouTube income, like, that's like a big fat negative. So that's not the issue. Even if I lost my channel, I'd still be working for Soundboo Theater. I still have taxes to worry about. <laughs> okay, or um, Colin. So I go to settings? Um, go to present. Go present. present. Wait, exit full screen. Present, share screen. Share screen. Oh, yeah, and then it tells me that. 
And okay, when you click, it. ah, there we go. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Spoiler alert. I agree. I this alert. one, this is a good one. Yeah. That was, I think one of the first ones I thought of and I was like, yeah, that's definitely going on. That's an easy pick for me. I so, there was the only why easy this one didn't occur to me. Just cause yeah, this movie just is one that grows. I think not just with me, but with everyone where it mm -hmm. seems like it's getting more credit as time goes on where when it came out it was either like people remember judge dread the sylvester stallone movie right and thought lame or they just didn't know what it was and just thought it looked generic and it just made no impact but like it's actually a really good it's kind of the opposite of all these movies that come out with all this hype and then people see them and they're like uh like this movie had no hype and then people see it and they're like oh that movie's sweet and then word of mouth grows. And it's also would be great for a sequel because it's just kind of like like the first movie, it builds this world and then it's really just uh it's simple. Like he's a cop fighting crime, really. I mean that's the yep. essay. Just be another crime he goes and fights. Like it wouldn't undo anything or ruin it's like the first movie's really simple. It's not like the story the story's kind of made for I mean it's a comic book that was an ongoing serial, so it'd be real easy to just have another movie where he goes and gets into a crime. It doesn't have to be a big epic thing. I mean, they can make multiple movies. And sure. just, it could be, I think, what is it? The dude who's uncredited, the new movie Civil War. I always forget his name, but like whatever that filmmaker was, um, he he like wrote this, and but then he also, they said he basically directed it and didn't really get credit. Alex for Garland. It. Alex Garland, thank you. Uh, um, Dread. He directed yeah. out. Oh, okay. I mean, Alex directed this basically. I, I read somewhere that he's not credited. He's credited as writer. Like it's his script, but I guess the director, I don't know all, all the details, but I read that the director wasn't doing very good. And Alex Garland kind of helped Stepped with the in. direction a lot. And so he didn't get credited, but he's a part of why it looks so good. So I think, and he's still working and it would be cool if he did another one of these. So and Carl I'd Urban. Be down for that. I wish I'd yeah. seen this on the big screen. I remember when it came out me and too. I only it's heard good things about it, but I just never, it took me forever to see it. Yeah. Not so it was just free on Netflix and I had nothing to do. Then I just like, oh, okay, I'll watch it. Like, but yeah, in 3D, it would have been cool to see in 3D, I think. Yeah. It all, especially those slow mo scenes. Like, with oh, really yeah. Crazy they were gorgeous, scenes. weren't they? Yeah. That, so that's, this was a, this was the one easy pick. I don't know. I feel like I'm like, they'll, they'll agree with me on dread. I don't know about the other picks. <laughs> the one criticism I've heard about it is that it's just the red with uh, Craig. Oh, Bowman. right. I mean, I, it, I, I like mean, this movie this... more than the raid though. Cause I feel like I like, I, the th I think I do too. I like, I the think I do too. Of yeah. Of yeah. The dystopian -ness and the little bit of extra technology and the slow-mo drug and stuff. I mean, the raid has some good martial arts, but, I yeah. also really like Dread better, but uh, yeah, also like that's a, it's a. I mean, it's not like that's the most original idea either. Too. I'm sure there's other movies right. that are pretty similar. Just mm -hmm. yeah, big, that's what I was getting ready to say as well. There there have been movies where people are surrounded by a group of bad. The Rony Seven story them. ideas. Is it like Assault on Precinct Thirteen or some similar? It's not the exact same, but similar. Similar sort of setup. Die yeah. Hard almost. You can almost say Die Hard is a similar situation. Mm -hmm. But like, well, yeah, that, I mean, Dread. If, if you haven't seen Dread yet in the chat, go watch Dread. It's not on Netflix, actually. When I thought of it, I'm like, I'm going to start watching Dread. I'm going to watch it right now. And it's not on Netflix or Hulu. So this is the one uh, I'm probably going to buy on Blu-ray. I'm starting yeah. to need to get a Oh, yeah, I got to get a physical for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my brother I and I, we have a digital slightly. copy on Vudu. Yeah, certain movies that I just, I want to be able to watch them whenever I'm. I recently got The Gentleman. Oh, the movie, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's a good one. Dread. All right. So um, mine's been duplicated because Arturo picked. I'm going to forego this turn because I basically had two my first time and then Arturo picked my other one. I could suggest one that I know you might like that was on your list. That was on my list or, or yep. wasn't? I think you could whack lyrical about it. Okay, hold on. Let me. Okay, I was gonna. Do you have a picture, or do you want me to? I have a picture. Oh, okay. I think. There you go. 
Oh yes, yes. I don't know why this oh, occurred actually, to me. That was actually what? my pick too. Um, that's that the was, one I said was my backup pick because I'm. 50, well, then I guess I should just talk about because that was 50, my pick. Fifty fifty. Someone would mention it. Both of you talk yeah. about it. Yeah, I do think I do think that does deserve a sequel after that. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, we've been waiting. They've been talking, and we hear these little exciting news news things. Oh, we're closer to a sequel. The things that Robert Rodriguez happen. and James Cameron have said yeah. definitely makes it sound like it's going to happen. It's like, but when, when, when? I think it will. I think it will. I'm still. This was the first one that popped in my head on the topic, and then I was like, someone else is going to say it. I can't have only three if this is one. Of the it just two. never occurred to me. I don't know why I just blanked out. It occurred to me. It definitely (laughs) occurred to me. I mean, we have been wishing that this was going to be a sequel ever since it came out because I felt so like that ending was. Yeah. They introduced Edward Norton like at the end of a movie and like, and here's Edward Norton as the main villain. Yeah, he's he's the guy all along. Yeah. (laughs) And and I was thinking there was like another 20, 30 minutes to go and then it was over. When she raised her sword, it was over. What? <laughs> yeah. That's so, how, it, how it ended in the OVA. I know. Unfortunately. Always, the mongers still. kept going, so the mongers are done. I always hey, want Joe. More. Well, how you doing? What's up, Joe? <laughs> you yeah, you want to jump on? Good... Just don't put him on the spot. He didn't come prepared for this. But Don't throw worry, out, Joe, you'll figure any, it out anybody in the audience. If you, I think someone did. I post up someone. Um, what the other person put up very beginning. Oh, here we go. Did I post this up? I don't remember. No. Okay, so he threw out the amazing, the amazing a, a sequel to the oh yeah the amazing Spider Man three the third one with Andrew Garfield. Yeah, I could see that. Yep, that's a that's a good pick. Okay, so it is. Um, let me remove this picture. It is your oh, turn is again, Arturo. You not gonna make it? What's it? No, I, I'm sorry. You came on. You came on a little later than the others. Um, yeah, no, he he's not. He um, okay. has it like work has been insane, and so he was really tired. So he he had to bow out. That's all right. So yeah, hopefully the next one. Are you ready, Arturo? What? Is it your turn? It's your turn. I guess. I mean, I. Well, uh, I lead a battle angel. Well, that was the one. That was one of my picks. Oh, that was one of your picks. Okay. <laughs> but I could bring my last one. I only have one more. Well, it's um, not. We're not on the last round yet. This is the second round. So let's go. Well, ahead and... yeah, lead a battle angel. That was only. That was that was one of them. That was the one you would have picked. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll move on to Simon then. <laughs> This one, this one might be controversial. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. I'm sharing my screen if you want to. Okay. Up. Well, I, hold on. I'm a little confused. I do. I, do I need? I think I need to kick. Do I, I want to kick sharing? Simon. Can you stop sharing? I can like, stop sharing. Because I'm stop. afraid if I kick it, it's going to kick you out as well, Simon. Okay. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to do that. Okay. Can now? Can you? Oh, so Dude, we've had a prequel. I about that. No, I thought about that. Actually. We haven't had a now, sequel. Why do you think it would be controversial? Because it's such a classic, and we could right. fucking ruin it. Right. So that yeah yeah. No, Plus, that's seriously was, the way you would take it is to expand it, and like this, the thing would be social paranoia, something like McCarthyism, right? Uh-huh. Or something like that. So it would be it would have a different I, kind of flavor, but. I, I was honestly thinking too because I was like, well, it couldn't be like just in the Arctic or Antarctic again. Yeah. Like it would have to move. But then, how different would it be? I like that idea of like McCarthyism in society. I was like thinking of like, oh, it could even be in like the jungle, and then all the animals are mutating crazy. But there's, it, it would have to keep the same ridiculous practical effects. Oh yeah, but, definitely. Um, I know it might be too big in scope. They made I comic could. books about like after the movie, which it does show that at some point it goes down into um, South America. 
That would be cool to read. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like it follows the like the two main. Well, so there's different so ways. So Kurt like, Russell's character. Like, it follows yeah, him? so the, the video game is like after the mo- after the movie, but that's a totally different direction. The comics goes in a different direction where yeah, uh, Kurt Russell and the and the black guy they he, they, they, make it, they make it and yeah. um, uh, so I forgot how they end, they I, someone they end up in South America somewhere and the th- and the thing is like doing something. I know it ends like in a cliffhanger, though. Unfortunately. Oh, uh, I was going to ask you how it ended. Well, at some point, <laughs> it, it gets into a fish and it just swims away. Uh huh. Into the ocean. And also, it okay. it, it infects Probably. somebody and it tries to reproduce with an another another like human that's infected. Oh. With a with the thing, yeah. I actually, I watched the thing like two or three weeks ago on that streaming site. And then the next night, I was just like, I wanted to watch something like the thing, and there's nothing I could think of. Parasite, mm-hmm. parasite. Imagine that's the anime or the or, or invasion of the body snatchers. I mean, it's a very similar sort mm-hmm. of thing. These these well, aliens I like, that I think I like parasite more than invasion of the body snatchers, just because. Oh, that... I do too. I do as well. Because at least parasite had this good conclusion. That's a, I think that's a great choice, though. Simon, like, I, it's I, a good choice. Another reason Brad is about it is it would destroy the ending. That sort of right, ambiguous because the ending, ending where he didn't know who was who. Despite the ambiguity, right. the ending feels really perfect, actually. Yeah. Right. You know, it, it, it goes along with the, the, in the entire tone mm-hmm. of, the, of the movie. So I remember I wasn't crazy about it initially. Uh, well, I have grown to, I, like count. that ending. I mean, but I've grown to I've grown mm-hmm. to really enjoy it. Unless Sashi, count, I'm getting ready to have my third cup. Unless so. you count the video game or the comics that go in different directions in the after the movie. Unless, but then again, you don't have to count them. Yeah. That's, I that's what I mean, though, is this was a hard topic for me because I think of stuff like The Thing or other movies where it's like, man, it's such a classic, though. It feels like a complete movie. Even though I want more of it, like how right. can I do a sequel justice or a sequel do it justice? That's what I mean about like it was a hard topic because then of course like bad movies you don't want a sequel of. No, it's a weird line of like a good movie that you those think we want remakes of. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm That's famous. Cool, oh, I gotta you're, get. <laughs> you're famous locally? In really? No, really. Gave a brief. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we we were <laughs> we were being racist earlier. Oh, uh, it was a joke. We're not racist. Oh, I know, and I'm oh, pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure like Sashi Louis, knows. <laughs> it's like the oh. Louis C.K. bit, like racism sucks, but the voices are funny, and it's hard to reconcile that. <laughs> <laughs> I like this point that Syfax makes. Equilibrium could expand into a cool. Oh universe. yeah, that would be a good one. I really enjoyed that movie. That's a that's a great movie. Jeff makes fun of me all the time for liking it because he misunderstands the whole idea of the gun kata. He completely yeah, that, had that movie misunderst- pissed me off because I like thought of that years before the I gun saw kata. Yeah. I remember you saying that. Yep, and then it came in the movie oh, too. Yeah, I'm like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so- <laughs> yes, yeah, Sasha, you weren't here. You were. Busy so I would say, and look, I, almost preparing your coffee. I was saying there was, uh, and this I wasn't even trying to be racist, but like I can tell if someone's Asian because you're just like, digging the, a hole, Arturo, because of the eyes. <laughs> no, <laughs> not the eyes. <laughs> That's not what I'm you know, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> I don't want to sound. Worse than I we were to we, it all came about because I had mistakenly said yesterday that the Parasite TV show I've been watching I thought it was Japanese but it's Korean. Then we got onto the subject of how the languages sound, the difference between the languages, and then it it went from there. But no, we weren't not really. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of. Except it looked more it looked cooler to me in Equilibrium. But then that's partly because. Um, John Wick annoys me now. John Wick three and four. So John Wick has the same darkness. <sighs> okay, Colin, it's your turn. 
Okay, I'm I just gonna... love I just love triggering Sin. Yeah, National so Treasure beautiful. Three, yeah. If it's done well, you know that first one came back to theaters for a little bit, but um, I wasn't able to go see it. I would have actually enjoyed watching that on the big. On All the right, big I'm, I'm probably gonna get some groans because. <laughs> And most people think this movie sucks, <laughs> but I want more. <laughs> I want more. Waterworld. <laughs> yeah. I want. Here's what I want. Okay, like I did before, where I like to bring in a director's vision for some of these. And here's what needs to happen on this one. I don't even know who directed Waterworld. Was it Kevin Costner? I don't. I don't think so. Um, but I don't remember. I, I want to say he I directed don't... it. I think it was. Was it? Did Kevin he Costner? really? Did he really? I think so. I, I don't think he, I knew he directed Dances with direct. Wolves. I didn't remember that he directed Waterworld, but you might be right. Here is who should think, direct it. Oh, Kevin Reynolds, but I, I think he took over directing because it was such a fucking shit show. <laughs> oh, not a shit show, an unheralded, like a cult classic. I think I mean, it slowly, slowly regaining it. I don't know. It's everyone hates it, but like. <laughs> I think really good. I think I need to make that into a short now. Like zooming up in his face yeah, real close. It's like, oh no, no, everybody hates it. <laughs> Colin Arturo movie. is it, it watches the the thing about you talking about carbonated drinks and no, simon brought up carbonated i think it was simon, sasha that brought it up. Brought it up. I said, yeah, we needed to have Colin get on that. And, um, been drinking soda and also life. Simon's crazy <laughs> giggling. This is like, this happens a lot at the house. It's on, on repeat. That makes me feel happy. <laughs> no, you guys just need to be memes. <laughs> no. Well, I not. never saw Waterworld because I heard oh, how terrible it was and I you really wasn't lot. interested. It is so good. Yeah. Kevin yeah. Reynolds quit the film before its release owing to heated battles with Costner over his creative decisions. Reynolds oh. still received full credit as director. Okay. Here's what needs to happen. We need to put the George Miller treatment on this one. We need to George Miller this thing just like he did with Mad Max, those 80s movies. That were pretty good. Because this seems like this should be in the vein of that type of It is. It's post-apocalypse on the water. And we need to get the Fury Road ultimate treatment on like a spectacle, the most crazy action you've ever seen on the water for two hours straight, just nonstop post-apocalyptic action on the water. But George Miller, he's thinking like, hey, I'll do this, but I'm going to need some help because this is a lot of water shooting. So he brings in James Cameron, and we get George Miller and James Cameron co-directing Waterworld 2 with the biggest budget any movie's ever had, practical effects out on the water. I'm, I don't know what else needs to be said. I mean... That's I my think, I think they could do a, a solid job at it, probably. What about Waterworld versus Mad Max? But they have to adapt to each other's environment. Oh. That, they, they flood the desert, and the desert people <laughs> have to adapt to the... You know, Mad Max is driving through the desert, and suddenly there's like this weird uh, mirage in the horizon, and it's the fucking ocean. Yeah, yeah. just huge. I don't even know what boats are. Yeah, a wet Mad Max. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, I mean, it's already enough like Mad Max. that it, It's got to be all in the water and just, yeah, I want the Furiosa Fury Road, like amazing modern practical special effects with the, like the James Cameron, like epic water action shoot. I just want it to be the biggest, I don't know. It was hard. I like, like we're saying with the sequels, the world building, I like the world of Waterworld. And I wanted to see more action and stories there. And that's what it's hard because, uh, like I said, a lot of stories feel complete. So I was thinking, what are some worlds that I want to go back to? And Waterworld is a world that you could just do more action. Kevin Costner, he could show up like at the end in a cameo. You know, his yeah. it could be all new characters and new whatever setting and all that. Whole new story. Still on, yeah, new story. But man, Waterworld, it's cool just. Like I said, practical effects, his boat that Kevin Costner is on the whole movie that like half the movie takes place on his boat. It's really cool. And it really makes you want to be on that boat. Like, cause it's like, there's all this stuff he's swinging around and the way he works it, like 
you really I think you would be surprised the amount of entertainment you would get out of this movie. Like it, it's if not, you're high and you sit right at the front row <laughs> and you're like, whoa. Not a total watch. I mean, I, I know why it gets bad cred, but there's some really cool stuff. And his boat is one of the coolest parts of the movie. And stuff like that. I like I want to see more of. I mean, there's like a little floating village. It's really like a small like a Mad Max little small compound. It's like a little floating village where all the like peaceful people and the the raiders and the, the, like this giant old steamboat and not a steamboat, some giant old metal like crew oil cruiser. Yeah, it's like an oil rig that the bad guys had all retrofitted to live on. Dennis Hopper's really cool. As the oh yeah, that's right. I forgot he was in there. It's seriously, it's not a bad movie. It was just overhyped and flopped. But, I remember that. That yeah. it flopped. Yeah. If if it had had no hype and it was an unknown actor, it was just like I think people would have. Received well, what year did this? This was after Dances with Wolves, 95. right? Ninety five. I was so ten I, years old, and I love. I I think part of that is people uh, probably were expecting something uh, like similar to the quality of Dances yeah, with serious. Wolves, and maybe, yeah. and you know, he'd won an Oscar for Best Director. Right. I think maybe I don't remember if the movie itself won. So there was right. a lot of hype about around Kevin Costner and him, like, what's this m next movie? Well, right. he didn't direct; he sort of ish directed it, but yeah, I yeah, think I probably. I think you're right. It. I think you're right. Yeah, it's cocaine and jet skis. Cocaine and jet skis. Cocaine and jet skis. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got a couple of good suggestions here from the audience. Tropic Thunder two, if we had old humor <laughs> back again. That would yeah. be. I never, I didn't think that, one, that would be a good one. It would yeah. be. That was a fun. That was a fun movie. I still quote parts of that. I know who I, I, know I am. Who I am. <laughs> I'm a dude playing a dude. This guy is another, another dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, that that would be fun. Um, so Drew says some people wondering if Brothers 2009 should get a sequel. Which movie? Is he referring to? Is he referring to Four Four Brothers? Was that a two thousand nine movie? It wasn't Brothers that one with? Uh, or, what was his name? I forget their names. Shit. Anchorman. Oh, Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Oh, I don't know. Am I thinking the wrong thing? Or not Brothers Grimm? No. No, that was before two thousand nine. Oh, Jack Dylan Hall, not Lee Portman. That was a there was a movie called Brothers with them in it. Mm -hmm. I I don't. I don't think, I think ever... I remember that movie. I ah. remember seeing trailers. Oh, they have a uh, Toby Maguire. Is that the one you're talking about, Toby Maguire? I'm sharing the screen. If you want to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do remember this now. That's right, Toby and Jake. Wow, I had completely forgotten about that movie. Yeah, I don't remember it. I okay. did watch that movie. Oh. Too serious for me. Natalie Portman's hot. Yeah, I never I never watched it. <laughs> I think someone would disagree. Hey, well yeah, whatever. <laughs> I think I prefer what's her name? Uh Kara Knightley. Kara Knightley. Yeah. Um I want Sicario 3. I want to see Brolin and Del Toro together again. Jeffrey Donovan was also very fun. I would oh. not mind Sicario 3. They have talked and about it. And bring Emily Blunt back. Let's go. I don't know. If Beck, they can can bring... I take a quick aside? Yes. What do you guys think of, I won't say the whole Fargo season 2, but the character. Oh, we finished it. We finished yeah. it yesterday. You like... Yesterday? Yeah, yeah, we finished it because this was the first well, Sunday. No, in... Wait, today's Tuesday. We finished it. Oh, sorry. Sunday. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. You've been so busy. You finally had. Yeah, free... right. It's been a crazy yeah. week. We finished it Sunday because this past Sunday was the first time in a while Arturo I know... has been off. And so we... next October guy. I'll say this. I know, I know the last know. episode is, is feels anticlimactic because it, it's you kind of expect tons of action based on how the show was up to that point. And it ends up being kind of a few, a little action in the beginning that slows way down, and it's lots of kind of conversational scenes. Which well, kind of I was really expecting weird. to see like how the 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 the, the dad to get hurt. We never like saw whatever injury happened to him yeah, that is or, referenced in the first season. 
Or and I kept heck, expecting. Or what the heck the craft was. Yeah, I oh, like Oh, yeah, that was... Okay, well, I... don't say too much. Don't say too much, but I like okay. that. It's kind of meant to be a chaotic... I don't know, I, would, I won't say red herring, but just a chaotic uh, just thing that's there. It's not really meant to be a deeper point to it all. There was a message, like, I think in the same episode that hinted. I think there, yeah. was, there was a picture on the wall that yeah, hinted. Yeah, saying we're not alone. Um, I just think was, maybe the spoilers. Be, I think it's meant to be interpreted in different ways. I think I would say that. I think it's meant to be kind of ambiguous. I don't think that it's like it clearly means this and either you see it or you don't. I think it's meant to be it maybe it's this or maybe it's that. Maybe it, you I know. I don't know. That one was the one piece that didn't feel feel like it fit very well. I, I because felt it's like, like you wouldn't like it because it's Yeah, it's, I wasn't crazy it's about it's not that logical. part. And I think you yeah. don't like the, the stuff that's not logical like that. Well, I don't mind movies about stuff like that, but it didn't it didn't seem to fit this right. genre, like this story. Well, yeah, it just like came out and felt like it was something out of left field. It was like, right. what? <laughs> yeah, and I, I totally get that. I, I kind of like that stuff, but um, but I get that it, it also feels weird to when things aren't like... Um, concluded status like it leaves you like with a question and not an answer it's not it's a sometimes annoying but for like, me the the main problem the main not, and it was not necessarily a problem i had with it it was and like not with the writing or anything as far as the, what i'm getting ready to mention i was hoping for a totally different outcome right for oh, yeah. the for the the, the couple right for the yeah. couple that got caught up in things and yeah. specifically a different outcome for him and a different outcome for her. I did not like right. her. Yeah. Um, because he got caught up in all this bad stuff because she was an idiot, you know, right. <laughs> just, I, and she just annoyed me. And, and so the way things happened, the way things yeah. came to a close on that end was a, a bit upsetting. Right. Um, but uh, I, I did, I did like it overall. Uh, c can I ask if that character comes back again, Hamzi? Hamzi. Hamzi. Well, Does he come back again ever? I'll say, I'll say this. And before I answer your question, I just want to say I love the arc of Hamzi so much. He's one of it my was, it, favorite. He, yeah, he gets to this point, and I'm thinking things are going to open up and be talked about more, and then bullets started flying. Right. And yeah. blood starts going, and so I was like, "Well, darn, we were kind of getting somewhere with this guy." <laughs> Here's what they did with Hansi, which I think, on one hand, I totally get why they did it, and it's kind of cool. On the other hand, it feels unnecessary. Um, mm -hmm. Which is, they say, "Okay, you're Moses, your new name, Moses Tripoli." If you yeah, remember. yeah. In season one, whenever Billy Bob Thornton um, is. The, far, the, the guys from Fargo, there's even a scene where they're all sitting around eating and the guy has a bib and he's like, who's, you know, Fargo? Who, and they're like, boss, we got it worked out. He's like, who's going there? And he's got, and he's like head in the bag. It doesn't matter, hunted, like head in the bag and all, all this stuff. And then basically that's the guy that Lauren Malvo, Billy Bob Thornton, when he goes in the building and shoots the building up to get those guys. Yeah. That's Moses Tripoli, a.k.a. maybe Hansi. And the idea is that oh. he changed himself to become the, the mob boss of the area. But the problem with it is that the actor doesn't look anything like Hanzi. Like, no. not plastic surgery could do that to a person. But uh, oh. on the other hand, it's just like, I get that they were like, yeah, but it's just like, we didn't know the actor when we cast it. We just thought it'd be a cool connection story-wise. So you just have to imagine, like, uh, just take it, like, the casting's off, but it's like they they still thought it would be a cool story connection that Hansi ends up being this big boss. Um, hmm. But the acting, some people, I, I can see how when you see that scene, the actor is not at all, like, you don't believe for a second that could be I Hansi. totally, I completely forgot about that yeah. whole thing. Yeah. I but remember. what I meant to say, I'm, I got too, too distracted. I love talking Fargo. And thank you guys, <laughs> thank you guys for watching it. But no, we're going to keep Donovan. on. We're not done, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And Jeffrey Donovan, though, I think he's really had 
one of the most interesting roles in the whole season, which was Dodd Gerhardt. Oh, he was such a shit. He was so awful, oh, but every he time was I terrible. Watch it, the more I watch it, the more I'm kind of like, dude, he's like, he's hamming it up so hard, and yet it oh, yeah. still feels believable in a way that's funny and disgusting at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. Like his character so over the top with his anger and his out of controlness, and yet it still feels like it could be a real person. Like I, I feel like I see people that could be that or you know like it doesn't feel like it's too cartoonish right. or whatever. but it yeah. does it's almost funny how over the top it is with his his anger and just the way his face and he's always like he's like sticking his chin and holding like he's holding back this rage this whole time and yeah jeffrey donovan it really made me notice him um with that fargo season two he, he really first time him. i noticed him was in actually sherlock I had totally. I keep forgetting he was in Sherlock. Yeah, he was in the in Martin season. I, oh wait, I, Robert he was in Sherlock Watson and the girl. What are, what's her name? Um, the one that was stripped naked in front of Sherlock. Oh, I forgot her name. You know, are you, are you saying her. Robert Downey Jr. or Benedict Cumberbatch? The Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Oh, okay, I gotta watch that because he I didn't in, oh, realize we, I watched that. Also, yes. they posted on Hulu. You should definitely watch that. That's such a good Sherlock show. Is really good. Oh, I've seen well, I've seen it, but it was like so long ago I've forgotten it and I didn't know who Jeffrey Donovan was when I saw it. But yeah, he was in that. Uh, I gotta rewatch that. I always think of Burn Notice, Notice when I think of him. Uh, Wrath the Man and then the yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree. Spawn two would probably be a good one. Um yes. That would be cool. That's yes, another one though. Actor. Almost, uh just do a remake of Spawn because the first one I felt maybe it's just my opinion, but the first one felt a little flat. Like I'd like just a good Spawn. Yeah, a lot of people weren't oh. crazy about it. Um, it was it was okay to me, but I, so, I know a lot of people is, had issues with it. This is changing the subject, but it looks like the Screamcast is coming to our con. Oh really? Well, I know it's David. Good. Wait, wait, so wait! You know the, David says meet the stars of Scream, the first one. Is David Arquette coming to that, that was one as already, well? Were, they were at the Kansas City Con, who one of my coworkers. You meet them on Friday, um, Saturday, yes, Sunday. Yes, they were, Colin. I didn't make it to that panel, but there was a panel um, with them. Well, I, I only made it to a few panels there at the Kansas City uh, Comic Con. I, I like the area where the con was. The, the vendor's place is huge. Like, yeah. It's massive. It was so big. Cool. Yeah, it was um, 25th anniversary of that con. So there were a lot of big names there. Um, and this, of course, is in reference to Waterworld. <laughs> Anyways, I, I, I tagged you on it. It, it, it. Yeah, it's got the it's got the it's most of the cast, or at least the few. Well, I know them. David Arquette is coming to the Fear, the Fear Con. The yeah, but, but this is the girl and the two guys. Okay. I think the other guy that was like watching. T I'm going to make one more coffee. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I hope they have a, um, I hope they have a panel. This is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, how many Sharknado movies have there been? I don't know. I only know of the first one. Uh, yes. So while you guys were nerding like, Sashi, on the... Uh, it, it was mentioned. Sorry, go ahead, Simon. While you guys were nerding like, on Fargo, okay. I find the movie. I was just, I fell in a IMDb route hole. And I find, have you ever heard of a movie called, a TV movie called Corridos, Tales of Passion and Revolution? No. What caught my eye is it got 9.2 on okay. IMDb, starring Clancy Brown and Linda Ronstadt. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> what what year did it come out? Nineteen eighty eight, and it's Idiot. something like Mexican, Mexican American heritage. Well, yes, yeah, because, because she is in... she is she uh, does have um, Mexican ethnicity in her background. Does she? Dread. Yeah. So I'm wondering. Dread if that's... was mentioned, and Alita Battle Angel was also. Yeah, mentioned. yeah. They really need to get on that. 
I feel like waiting a bit for for Colin. I guess they have to talk to the creator first before they can do it. You know. Well, James Cameron was somehow involved in discussion with Robert Rodriguez because he directed it. He directed it. So I don't know what the holdup is. Oh. Have they you just done didn't this? make a, enough money? Yeah, it was disappointing. It was so good. But that was unfortunate. Arturo, do you want to look up real quick and see if you can find any news about it? Budget 150 to 200 million. Box office 405. So it just broke even. Did it actually break even, though? Did it even? Well, they say you should double the budget for marketing. So At least double. Some people say triple. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, he de he definitely did. Um, he was on screen for what? A second, maybe? Two? He did have other... I, I mean, think he... I can't remember. Were there other parts where we saw hints of him at all? Or even I heard his voice? Little. I thought a little bit. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait before Colin comes back. There's only been just remove. one update. That was back in November of 2023. That's it. During Andrew's nerdy basement, Rodriguez claimed that he would try pitching a lead an Alita sequel if the Book of Boba Fett series directed by him succeeded in knocking people's socks off. What? Yeah. Why should he tie the decision to do an Alita sequel with the Boba Fett thing? Because uh, the... you're only as good as your last I put in Hollywood. Well, the Boba Fett thing, I don't think it did so well. No. I heard bad things In about April 2023, it. producer John Landai confirmed the sequel was in active development with Rodriguez and Rosa Salazar returning as the director and star respectively. But also the Boba Fett thing was a show, not necessarily mm -hmm. a big motion picture. So I don't. Yep. I wouldn't mind a Boba Fett movie, but knowing Disney right now, I don't have any trust in them. You wrote a sequel. You wrote a sequel to Bull Durham, where Crash Davis was a minor league coach trying to inspire a catcher to get to the big leagues. I saw Bull Durham once, and I know it's considered a big classic. I was never. So super impressed with it but that's that's just not really my type of mu uh, movie in general I don't know what was and meanwhile Godzilla yeah, in what's Godzilla that? and Kong make a million dollars no more than a million many 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 millions it said, uh, it said well let's see it says here made a hundred and ninety four million world that's worldwide yeah. What were you getting That's because they're on? easily transferable to multiple territories. Um, I can't remember. What were we talking about? Uh, I was talking about I Enigma said he had written a, se a sequel to Bull Durham. And then you oh, started yeah. to say something. Meanwhile, in the UK, uh, baseball is a girls' game. We call it Rounders. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. So um, guys don't play baseball at all in the UK? No, not at all. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, Too Matthew... Busy um, doing manly things like drinking tea. <laughs> Matthew, uh, is it Liliard? Lillard? Lillard? Yeah, he yeah, is he's coming. coming. Yeah, and I think um, his friend, the guy who played his... Oh, yeah, I can't remember yeah. His name. And the main I actor forgot from... forgot his name. Um, yeah. Oh, this is going to be a fun year for that con. Yeah, I had I was halfway interested in Boba Fett, and then um, I didn't start watching it right away. And then as more people watched it, and the more I heard about it, the less I was interested. Yeah, it too. sucked. I heard it was bad. I'm I do you have know what they're doing with that IP anymore. Uh, well, you know, that's just kind of typical with Disney. And um, uh, are, you, are you interested in Acolyte? Because I saw no. the big ratio with that 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 trailer. No, it no, had no. a lot of likes, but now it's like in the like fifty fifty, and maybe it's got more dislikes now. I don't know. I heard it was very heavily ratioed. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
It doesn't look it doesn't look interesting at all. No, I'll just go back to the I'll go back to the original trilogy and the prequels and You can always write ratio, fan though. fiction anytime, Enigma. You could probably come up with a better Terminator story than the last one we got. To be honest, I'd rather make my own original stories and show the world like, hey, I can do it. I can do it. Oh, yeah, did you see the uh, Terminator comic I posted? Did you post it in Discord? Discord? No, yeah. I have not. There was a comic released alongside the Terminator Resistance game in 2019. I found a copy of it online, so there's a full oh, okay. Terminator comic there. I actually wouldn't mind Did you read it? Game. No. No? Okay. Yes, I have um, heard Banshee talked about a lot. I actually started watching Banshee. I think I got maybe only one episode in. There's only one thing I remember about that first episode. <laughs> There's only one scene I remember. But I have heard it's a good it's a good show. Yeah, so we did, it. you did have a good yeah. one from 1977 all the way up until 2012. Saying I'm I, I, uh, did I miss what you, your last choice? No, I was waiting for you. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I no, I was waiting. This I'm going to be wrong coffee. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Go ahead if you want to. I'll wait. Did you really need to? Uh, go do it. Then we'll all. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we can just keep chatting if you want to go make some more. Um. Yeah, might as well do it now then. Okay. All right. Be right back. Talk about the TV shows. I don't even. I don't know what Banshee is. Um, Banshee had the guy who played uh, Homelander. He he home. was he was a um, oh Homelander and the Boys. Do you ever watch the Boys? Okay, I've seen a few, but I don't have Prime. I think I just so. Saw Homelander him. is like uh, he's like the Superman guy, but he's really bad. Okay, the, think, he's all powerful, but yeah, he is wicked. Right, and he plays a guy who, if I remember correctly, the setup is he was like a criminal or in trouble somehow with the law and he ends up in this place and he stumbles into the role of like sheriff uh -huh. and so he basically it, it's about him being sheriff that he's like posing as a sheriff this whole time the whole time the modern world yeah it takes place in the modern world yeah okay cool yeah anthony star is his name what is a what is a did you start? No, I guess I was going to ask Simon that too because I feel like you probably haven't started Tree Body Problem. See? I have started. I, oh. I'm one episode oh. in. Only one episode in because I'm trying to finish Parasite before I have to leave right. for New Jersey in a, in a few days. Do you like Because I, I want to do a review. Say what? Do you like the first episode? I did. I like the first episode so far. I'm torn because I have, I feel like I swore a vengeance upon david and well but I'm, I'm with also... you on that i get i know what you mean and i but you know they are working with material that's already been done they're not actually that's, creating that's the problem is I, I googled the book and i was like damn that book does sound pretty interesting like i wouldn't mind seeing the tv show of this book but why did it have to be these two that are doing it you know like because i it's it sucks because i was like i'm never gonna watch anything they do and then they picked this book which i'm like I want to watch this show. So. I actually am I'm interested to it. listen to the book, to be honest. It sounds yeah. really interesting. But I would take comfort in the fact that they are working with something that's already been pre-written. You know, they did a good job with Game of Thrones when yeah. they had material that was already there. Yeah. So I, I have no idea what I'm going to think about it when it's done. But so far, I I do think it's it's interesting. I'm, I'm just curious to find out. Um what's gonna what's gonna happen so yeah he's a he's a criminal this is back to banshee he's a criminal who takes over as the sheriff um yeah oh gosh <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness no you know um Halle Berry was a really good actor when she uh, a really good actor she was a really good sport about the Razzie she got for that movie <laughs> Because it was a really bad movie. That <laughs> yeah, was terrible. And now we're just waiting for Simon. Oh, damn. I was reading the comments and I was like, damn, Sashi, I'm so predictable. Because I was like, two of my first picks was Alita Battle Angel and Dread. Yep. <laughs> and yep. He mentioned them. Yep. Mentioned them right Those away. Those are solid picks, though. 
But yeah, I feel like they are solid picks. Maybe a little obvious, but solid picks. I agree. I agree with them. Colin, just because I'm afraid if I mess with this, it, it will, oh, you it know, will kick right. you out. Yeah. Can you remove right. the Okay. All right. So let me, I think I've got Just before pick. I left, I heard you hadn't watched all of the boys. You need to get on that. It is the most consistently high quality franchise there is right now. You are correct that I have not watched all of the boys. And I was talking to Colin. I know. Well, when oh, we get but Prime you again, are correct. I, I have not watched all the boys. I'll watch it when we get Prime again. I don't want to watch legal. It's on that site. And I don't want to watch there's it. also a animated spinoff, some like Star Wars Visions, like one shots. So yeah. is it's this also just as good and Gen V, which is also just Gen as good. V, and that's the one that that poor guy was in. I will when Who? we get that Prime again. I'll watch Sports it. Sports kid. What, what's that, Simon? Sports Niggers kid, or what are you talking no, about? No, no, the um, guy who died the other day in a motorcycle crash. Who? He played in Gen V. Chance something. Yeah. I read that some actor. Yeah, it, that really was a it. shocker. He's. He's Arturo's age. He was yeah. a character in there. If you look him up, you might recognize um, who he is. But see, I, I haven't seen it, so I don't know what character he played. Okay, I'm going to pull up mine. Here we go. All right. Okay. All right, so my last pick. Um, this is might be something... Some of you guys haven't heard of, but I've always felt that Shit. it deserved. Yeah, that guy. The Deep is dead. No. 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 I just look up Chance. Are you sure it's, it's Chance? 20, 27 years old. Maybe, maybe not. No, no, wait. But is that real? Is that true about the Deep? The only. I looked up Chance. I control F for Chance. It's not saying In... anything about him, is it? In the Gen V thing, and the only chance they came up was, it's not the. It looks to be still alive. It's not the deep. He's thirty-eight, so. No, it's not the deep. Arthur, oh, do you remember chance, that kid's name? Do you remember that guy's name? No, I'm, gonna, if... I'm gonna look him up. Wait, Chance Perdomo. Oh, chance yeah. Perdomo. Yeah. I thought the deep's name was Chase, or something. How did I misspell it? Yeah, Chance Perdomo is the one that got killed. Oh, he did. So yeah, it oh, was shit. a. It was, was a motorcycle a, uh, motorcycle, accident. motorcycle crash. He was a major character. Oh, was he major Man. character? Shoot. Mm -hmm. Was the was the first is the is that season done? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, this, it was apparently just I, I don't know, uh, but apparently it was just him. Like just a crash involving him. So I'm yeah, you had hadn't, a whole career you hadn't ahead, heard bro. that. I know. He was so young. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Going through his Instagram is very eerie now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm never going to die. <laughs> <Don't> die. <laughs> you know what? When you're that age, I know, when you're right? that age, you really do feel like you are immortal. Right. And that's why doing things like riding a motorcycle not so scary but when you get older and you realize how quickly life can be taken away yeah my brother tim used to have a motorcycle and uh um, i'm thinking of getting one again oh geez i got i got one when i was 18 and i rode it like twice and i was like fuck no like so dangerous that yeah, my mom so um my mom was at somewhere at a restaurant and they were leaving the restaurant and there was a, a crash right there Right in front of her, motorcycle guy involved, he was killed instantly. Yeah. And she saw him right there. She could tell right away he was dead. And then I was coming back from the movie theater one night, and there were all these ambulances and stuff, and I could see that there was something in the road, that there was a car had been pulled away, and there was something in the road, but I couldn't tell what it was. And then I did see they were working on someone on the side of the road and found out later it was a, a crash involving a motorcycle and a car, and they were working on the motorcyclist. And he didn't make it. Yeah. You have saw, no protection. I, I saw a dead m motorcyclist in uh, L.A. one day. I was walking along the overpass of a highway. And I saw, like, all these cars lined up on one side and then no traffic on the other side. And I went and looked over, and there was, like, a, a corpse in the street. Just a dude oh, crumpled up with blood. Like, it had just happened, and the paramedics hadn't got to him yet. And it was a oh, motorcycle. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, you're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> it's not worth it, Simon. Seriously. Road racing is a way of life here. Oh. I had a, yeah. I had a, a colleague. Big, Sorry, the big bro. thing is uh, the Alaman TT, which is held every year. It's the, the biggest sort of road Motorcycle race. Motorcycle race? Yeah, in like between its inception in 1907 and 2023. So that's what, uh, 114 years? There have been 269 fatalities. To a year, really, almost like. Yeah, the deadliest was 2005, where there were 11. Jesus yeah. crap. Okay, well, don't yeah. value life then. Whatever. You gotta do what you love. Uh, well, I, I mean, I guess I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I feel like if you love being alive, <laughs> you'd value your life a little bit. It's not a put pity you don't do in... reactions anymore because I'd love to see a reaction to the other man TT. Oh, I, 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 it would be cringe. Actually. It would be terrible. Yeah, I don't. I I've been meaning to do some more reactions, but um, I did do a reaction to the Sound Booth Theater video. Um, I just prefer talking about movies, so it has definitely been a while. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible injury, and that would put me off of it as well. Um, I like this idea, Enigma sequel to Boss Level. I enjoyed. That would be pretty cool. The first movie. It was a yeah. lot of fun. Boss Level is good. Yep, I I could definitely go. Go for that. Okay, so let me pull up my last one. We'll begin the final round. And... Before we move on, can I just show yes. you one little? Yeah. Oops. Where is it? I think it's this one. Oh, jeez. He survived. If it's the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> but it might not be. Yeah. Oh, oh God! Oh, God. Oh, oh my God! He broke some bones, and he risked the next year. Yeah, crazy, crazy man! Oh. Lord, damn, these are tough. Yeah, I, I know. I definitely. I've. This has been something that they show in movies and stuff, and shows that motorcycles, mopeds little dirt bikes and stuff because it is a cheaper way to get around i mean i i get it but it's so freaking dangerous even if One you're the, going at uh, slow speed the biggest uh road racing dynasty over here was the, the dunlops and the sort of patriarch of it joey dunlop he's since died in the motorcycle accident but oh. <laughs> he did say that uh <laughs> when you're racing there's a green blur and there's a gray blur and you try to stay in the gray blur. <laughs> what is the green blur? Oh, the, the it's grass. what they call the furniture. The grass. Yeah, it's the, the furniture. Like these, this is street racing in sort of narrow, pretty wow. streets. Man. That's okay. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so my next one is. One. I don't know if you guys will know of it. I've spoken about it before. It is that Odd Thomas. I don't remember that. You've never seen it? Oh. Nope, never heard of it. So Odd Thomas was, it's a book series written by Dean Koontz. And I had listened to a few of the books at her talk that was a movie. Finally, a movie got made. It was like this weird legal stuff that was happening, and it t it took them a bit to get it done. They finally got it done, but because of legal, the the legal issues with it, rights or something, they uh, the chances of it ever getting a sequel were pretty much nil. And then, of course, this poor guy he passed away a few years after it came out. So, you know, if they did a sequel, it wouldn't involve him. But it's basically about this guy who can see he can see dead people hmm. um they they don't talk to, he he can see them and he'll talk with them they don't talk back but he sees them generally when there's like um, maybe something's getting ready to happen and they're almost like warning signs about things that are getting like impending doom or something and uh so yeah this was a, a film adaptation of the first book in the series and i really loved the first book it was so good i enjoyed the other books as well and I was, I, I'm, I was bummed that they could never go back and make some more sequels of it. But I, I feel like the adaptation was, was solid. And I would love to 
have been able to see a sequel to this. So if you guys like those sorts of things, maybe you would enjoy checking it out sometime. It was, it was good. I, Willem Dafoe was in it and Anton Yelchin and some other recognizable faces. And, uh, yep. Good movie. Cool. So those are my three. I'm done with mine. We can go ahead and, uh, proceed to Arturo for his last one. Um, I think it should be a sequel to the American version of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Oh. oh. Nice. I agree with that. David Fincher directing and him. He's a good director. He made The Zodiac and he also made that. Why couldn't they just make a sequel, sequel with the same actress? And St Stone Skarsgård, right? He was in... Yes, he, yes he was. Mm-hmm. I yeah. lost Stellan Skarsgård. And what and Daniel was... Daniel Craig. Rooney Mara. Rooney, Rooney Mara. Mara, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She did I a really it. good job playing that character, I thought. Um, mm -hmm. She was really... She was eerie, and she did oh. move in a way that made you... And she was convincing mm -hmm. as someone who was on the spectrum somehow. Because I, mm -hmm. I think her character is supposed to be. But she also did that... You know, she like had the shaved eyebrows, and she just had a really unique, odd look to her. But it was very interesting at the same time. And I'm surprised they didn't make a sequel to that. Now that now you bring it up. They made a sequel, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have her in it. And it's a completely different character. It's like it's a whole it's a whole different cast of characters. Wait, in America? The Girl in the Spider's Web. Yeah, the girl in the spider's web. An American version? Fantasy yes. Movie? Yep. It not weird. Not done by the same director. I don't know who directed the second one. Fetty Alvarez. So I don't count that one at all. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, they need, and Daniel Craig. Right. They need to do a sequel to the Fincher one. Yes. <laughs> like the whole tri well, the trilogy, honestly. Obviously, if they make the second one, they have to make the third one. They can't, can't stop it too. They gotta make both. Yeah, I think I think they should just do just I think they should have just gone and redone just done all of them like how they did i mean obviously they made Honestly, some changes that's what i don't get why didn't they i'm not sure yeah sweden did do an amazing job with them mm -hmm. so if you want a conclusion to the story arturo you'll you'll want to watch the to original watch the however movie. like i said be oh, prepared for the fact the that Swedish? there were some changes to the characters what's the that Swedish version is really good mm -hmm. it is. i would have said that they didn't even need to do a remake but the fincher remake actually <laughs> was a solid remake and I would have thought they would have kept going with it. But yeah, that mm -hmm. the Swedish versions, there's nothing wrong with them. They are I love Numi Rapace. Uh, yeah, uh, she was she was excellent in there. Um <coughs> they did what did you think about the changes that they made to the way the characters were, the dynamic of the characters? Uh, we were talking about that a little bit yesterday. I don't think I think I don't remember enough about the character changes i just remember the casting like i liked some of the original cast better but i like some of the fincher version better like i like stellan skarsgård's character a lot better because it was mm. stellan skarsgård playing but i like i like numi rapace better because it was numi playing her and then i think like i think i liked daniel craig's character i'm not sure i feel like i like the original guy but maybe i like daniel craig's character you know i don't remember like, I'll, I'll refresh your memory. I'll refresh your memory. So in the... Oh my gosh. I told... Yeah, okay. I told Aurelia to come get Tifa. I don't know what she's screaming at. But my dogs are distracted. Hold on. I'm trying to avoid a fight between them right now. Okay. So the changes that they made were... Um, uh, so in the, in, the, in the Swedish version, the character of Lisbeth... She was very much, um, she, she wasn't really very emotionally attached to the reporter guy. Mm -hmm. He was kind of pining away for her. Right. And she kind of just sort of put up with him or whatever. I mean, they, they worked together and stuff and they had, I think they had relations in the movie. I don't remember in that movie. But in, like the, that in the other, in, in the American version, she was kind of, she was very, you know, odd and standoffish too, very distrustful, but she grew attached to Daniel Craig's character and she started right. to feel affection for him. And then, of course, in the end, as you see, 
she drives up, she's going to give them this gift, and she sees he's walking off with the lady he works with. Um, I like doing and, this better. I forgot. Yeah, it was definitely a different feel to the like, to the characters completely. Yeah, I like the independent. Like, I don't need you. And I love how Numi was such a badass, like a punk rock, like leather jacket. Oh yeah, she was. And she just was. Like, don't fuck with me. Like I knew that. people like that in Sweden. And yeah, I love that attitude with women because it's like the opposite of the like the docile housewife kind of, which is like I don't like. It's like I like the like well, the punk rock attitude style. So. She she didn't play the American chick. Didn't play a docile no, 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 housewife. No. I didn't mean to say that. That was a whole <laughs> different comparison. Oh, okay. I mean, just it's like, just like she was different. Like, like she, because uh, I, I watched that one first. And but I like I like better when women aren't like oh I'm in love and I subservient. Like like, <laughs> well, no, she not, didn't even act like that though. That's the thing. She didn't like even act like that. But you could tell by, she liked him. That's what I mean. Is I think in in movies they always have women characters distracted by their their uh, romantic um, whatever or the romantic lead or their characters. So I like when women are just like I don't care about. It. Like I've got that shit going on. Like I'm not, you know you what, know I, what mean? I like? I like when men in movies aren't distracted by women because women are <laughs> too much that, of a distraction. <laughs> I just wish the women would get out of the way. <laughs> doing what they want. And like, in, and in women characters, you'll so often they'll be like, their role is to be care about what the guy's doing. And I like, like the punk rock and the tough women that like, they don't have time for romance and for whatever reason. I just like that. Better. Yeah, she was busy doing her own thing. Yeah, it's he so um, for the, he definitely the, was the, always protect. Like okay. in the movie, in the movies, he was the one. I don't know, whatever. I, I like them both, but there's definitely a difference. Um, I'm going to Jedi story. Bill. Okay, it's your turn, Simon. Yeah, I'm going to tell a story. Uh oh. <laughs> About living in Sweden. About who <laughs> living, in, living Sweden? in Sweden? Okay. So. Okay. I used to live there. The reason I moved is because this was back in 1999. Okay. I just broken up with my girlfriend, and I thought I'd do like a little tour of all my uh, European uh, internet friends. And that was novel to have internet friends. Right. So I did a little tour of Europe and then ended up in Sweden. And this cute Swedish girl asked me to stay. So I stayed. Yeah. But uh, I didn't know anyone. So I went on a. Uh, it's kind of like a precursor to Facebook and MySpace and everything. It's I'm called Hel Helgon. Oh, Helgon. Okay. Which, Helgon, which means angel in Swedish. Yeah. And it was kind of like a social media or thing for alternative people. And they're just trying to make friends. And they got talking to this girl. And she invited me over to her place to poop on her chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I thought it was a joke. What? <laughs> what? what the fuck is happening here? What? That's but as crazy. time went on, it turned out that she was into it. And I told my girlfriend, and she was like, oh, oh my God, do it. Do it. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> you can tell I was so uncomfortable with it. I never did it, but that happened. Oh, thank goodness. Because I, I don't want that, that image in my mind, video, Simon. Right? Hmm? What was that called? What? What, Colin? Wait, is this a Swedish story? I felt like the story was going somewhere that had like a sweet a point that it's in Sweden, and now I'm like, are you? This is is this a Swedish stereotype? Swedish girls are badass. <laughs> that way. That's not badass though. Yeah, that's, that's well, my ass is bad. So it, it's it's that's alternative. Bad. He said it was an alternative site. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely alternative. That's like way past the point of like independence. <laughs> Like I'm an independent woman. Like I don't know what that is. Like that's some other. <laughs> okay, that's her fetish. And Collins booking tickets to Sweden tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right, all right, Simon, your turn. Oh, okay. For your number um, three. All right. <sighs> Going to do a few honorable mentions first because I finally settled on one. Oh, so she says I didn't expect Simon's story to go in that direction. She <laughs> could get. Paid for that in Dubai. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh no! So first off, I'm joking. I just okay. wanted to troll everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, 
<laughs> Another honorable mention is uh, oh wait, shit. I can't switch tabs. I have to like Let me I remove and then maybe you Yeah. Okay, there we go. So the next one is no wait, that's wrong. They do. In a lot of films I feel like they do. They just a distraction. Okay. Oh Spaceballs too, the search for more money. Yay. <laughs> Baseball I saw this too. movie like once, and I remember enjoying it. And I bought the DVD, and then I never ever rewatched it. Oh, yeah, I just thought oh, like the new Star Wars, he'd be able to like completely rip the ass out of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Arturo, you've never seen this yet, have you? Uh, what? Spaceballs. Space I have not. I I, saw I think you I think you would like it. Yes. It's, yep. it's, it's a like classic. Just, Comedy, comedy, Star Wars, yeah. Parody of Star Wars, yeah. And I don't remember if I sold the DVD or if I actually still have it somewhere. You still have it. I thought about just putting it back on the shelf. Oh, okay. Definitely. Well, watch if it. you want to watch it, say what, Simon? You should definitely watch it. Yeah. What would the sequel be? And like, <clears throat> it would still be Mel Brooks and be sequel. It would be making fun of the new Star Wars. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. there'd Sorry. be so much that they could. Maybe that they could uh make fun of yeah. bill pullman was in that right he bill was pullman the han was solo pullman. type daphne yeah, Zuniga. yeah uh, i remember and, and joan about? joan collins was it? joan joan rivers, rivers. The, yeah. she was the voice she was the android lady right yeah she's the voice of the android right and uh rick moranis was darth vader uh john, john candy, candy. Yep. yeah stars to the cast yeah definitely surrounded okay. by assholes that's a good, that's a uh, good pick. Okay, we have an, okay, a sequel another for No Time to mention. Die? I don't know. How could you have a sequel to that? Oh, yes! Is absolutely! Yes! This was a great little yes. sort of origin story, but they never yeah. took it anywhere. I just thought, I, I don't know. know if it's based on books or whatever, but... It is. It's based it on is. a book or a comic, I think. Yes, it's based okay, cool. on something else. And that is a fun movie. It is. Apart I from the racism. <laughs> with with the was it Joel Gray who was playing that guy? Uh, yeah, see. I think it was. I think it was Jennifer Gray's father. Is it eighties movie? Joel Gray. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it's an eighties movie. And I remember we were at a hotel one night, and I was staying up super late. Everybody else was asleep. I was I was like a teenager, and uh, this movie came on, and I was just like, "What?" It was so much fun. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed this. Arturo, you should watch this movie. It's it's fun. Fun, yeah, fun. Never heard of it. This was a movie I recommended to the critical drinker. He'd never seen it or heard of it. I huh. don't know if he's ever watched it, but I think he would like it. Cool. Yeah. yeah I've never heard of that one either. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot of fun. You you eighties kids know stuff we don't know. Mm -hmm. The eighties made great, great fun movies. Yeah. I would watch a sequel of I I would watch a movie about the Britannic. That'd be better than the stupid Titanic movie we got. Um, a sequel to Logan Lucky. I never finished watching that. Was that any good? Because it actually looked pretty good. That's with, um, isn't that Daniel Craig and uh, Adam Driver? Is that Logan Lucky? <coughs> right? Wasn't it? It was, it was a lot of fun. What did you think of the uh, Joel Grey portrayal? Sashi. Oh, where he was yeah. in the yellow face, basically. It definitely was. But while he's I'm writing that, I'm curious to hear. Yeah, what's I, I I know that his part in that was de has, has definitely been heavily criticized. Um, mm -hmm. but I mean, at the time, I just went with it because he was convincing to me. Whatever. We were he's all racist in the eighties. So. <laughs> definitely, definitely, of course, everybody. Mm -hmm. No, um, it was it was fun. I thought he I thought he was fine in the role, but I know. Yeah, final that... honorable mention is. Okay. Oh, Galaxy Quest. Yeah, it was oh, such a nice. movie. I, that was fun. I don't know if it would work as a uh, sequel though, because it would just be I, the show. I, I was getting ready. It would to just ask, turn into like, Star Trek. Where that's do you think put... they could go? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's why it's in the honorable mentions because I don't really know where they could what they could do with it. Plus, Alan Rickman's gone. Right. So, yeah. That's a good one. But my final actual pick okay. is... 
Share screen. A proper sequel to fucking oh, a proper sequel. Okay. To Clover. I, I love that movie so much. Yes, Simon. Thank you. That is a great pick. That's a, I feel like that would have been one of my three picks had it crossed my mind. I knew mm-hmm. there would be ones I hadn't thought of. And as yeah. soon as you said that, I'm like, yes, I want to see a sequel to Clover. I love Cloverfield as well. Uh, Where do you think they would pick up with like the dev like um, them trying to put things back into order after the de- after the devastation caused by the creature? I would say pick up the next minute. I don't know. What do you what do you think, Simon? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I just know it could work. Like you, there's so many different directions you could take it in. So right, right. But I love the handheldness of it. Oh, and- I didn't. Mm-hmm. I don't. I didn't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of those types in general. It's like Chronicle, I thought was good. But I know Cloverfield's super, super popular. The handheld stuff, um, it gets on my nerves because I get a little bit of, um, like it starts to bother my head Mm -hmm. when there's Mm -hmm. all that jitteriness going on. I really like it. To me, it really immerses me in the false reality. Making it seem real, yeah. Yeah. And to do that in a movie that, like, you wouldn't expect it hasn't really been done before or since like a Godzilla type of like monster movie or an alien invasion movie. I just um, really liked it. I wish they with more movies of the, this could be a whole genre to me. I mean, well, like, idiot, you wait, wait, what do you mean? Like handheld, handheld footage, camera monster found movies, footage, but yeah, found footage monster movies. Oh, is, okay. Could be a whole, to me, if they were all as good as Cloverfield or even almost as good, I feel, I mean, eventually get tired of it, but it's, you know, it could be like a superhero like a whole genre that they keep churning these out because I, I loved it and uh, yeah at the least they should make a proper sequel i'm just noticing now it's a january movie so it was put out to yeah. die basically oh right well, yeah. it, it's it, i feel like it's i feel like a lot of people really liked it from the beginning mm-hmm. i think it was a pretty popular i think i told you guys but you probably probably forgot i may not have mentioned it but i really enjoyed watching cloverfield because that was in the early days of me discovering how to watch stuff on the internet on the legal sites and like on the seven seas and i would all i had always refused to watch like a handheld in the theater version i'm like oh cam for a dvd but then Mm -hmm. i for this it felt appropriate to watch the handheld cam in the theater of this it made it seem like another layer of found footage to me. Like, and so I, I did see that. Yeah. And it wasn't like an audience really making noise or whatever. It was pretty good in terms of that. It, it was the movie, but it had this extra kind of uh, bad quality to it that to me kind of, I it didn't turn me off the way it usually would have all the other times. Right. So that was kind of fun. Well, that yeah, makes I sense really though. You know, I could see why that would, kind of help add to the realism yeah it almost added to it it didn't take away yeah it was That's cool yes pick. i would agree with you Dorothy. um yeah so you have the answer to your question <laughs> it was done on here. purpose and yeah we, we, it would be yeah criticized. definitely people weren't triggered like they are now everything offends somebody now <laughs> and it it just yeah. wasn't typically well, like that in the 80s I think it's because when you're actually with a human being, you can tell their intentions. But when you're reading it on text, you basically create the yeah. intentions. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. you don't really know. Yeah, like, social <laughs> media has definitely had a hand in causing, like, this fracturing of society. Can everyone society. dumb? <laughs> it's just yeah. make everyone dumb. <laughs> but, no, it's not just that. It's just the access. The variety of people you have access to is massively right increase with social media so yeah, like there's, there's true. no one knows how to be considerate to like the it, whole world <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah yeah that's a good name for your vehicle iron herder okay are were those th- that was that was it that everybody was okay all right so colin you're the last one up final one and see this is i was i was storing battle angel alita but i figured someone would say it and then now after Cloverfield, I'm like, that would have been a better pick, I think, because I knew there would be ones I had. No, Lita was a good pick. That was a good pick. That was an excellent pick. But still, I stand by this pick. I stand by this pick. Oh, I thought I had it pulled up here. Um, I would love a, a sequel to this made by the same director in the same style, basically just more of the same, basically. And let me get the image pulled up. 
this is just another uh in a cool good movie. way yes that's yeah. that's true that's good a good movie. way to put it we racist, in, racist a in a good way racist <laughs> not in like a and i don't even consider that to be racist actually but i know like uh, dave chappelle <laughs> He said he says some of the most craziest things, but they're funny. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go. I knew you were gonna yeah. Starship Troopers. Okay. I love Starship Troopers. They did make sequels though. Yeah. Well, they did they Colin. animated though? Nope. Nope. They did see I that crossed my mind and then I thought, no, those were animated. You should have looked this up. <laughs> God damn it. I'm well, no, but you said by the same director, right? And that what you said. Point, yeah, that's part of the. Part. Can I talk that about a sequel to the, the Police video. Academy? <laughs> that was part of the point, though. Was like I really like the tone, and it really has that Verhoeven tone that his movies. It, he almost has a distinct style of of a weird realism, like like kind of fucked up realism, and it really worked with this. Uh, this movie, I, like the fascism, and I just I loved the uh, fighting the giant bugs, and and yeah, I like like the fascism. It almost was fun because usually fascism seems so wrong because you it, it's used against other human beings, and you know inherently that's wrong. But when it's used to get us riled up to fight these giant bugs, it's almost like yeah, yeah I mean you gotta have something. Let's get, <laughs> like it doesn't. It feels like you almost want to be a part of this marine culture but then they go and they're getting it's really violent and it, it makes you not man see now that i'm re realizing that there are live action sequels I'm now like, you want to watch them no because they're not verhoeven so now i'm like thinking they're probably not even good did you just admit you got swept up in fascism <laughs> if it was like giant bugs made against bugs but they were sent to the whole thing was that like we invaded them we're the bad I mean, guys Still, though, I mean, what are those bugs doing? They're up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many of them. They're too potentially dangerous. What are they? They're actually just like cockroaches. Good? Just stomp on them. Yeah. Okay. Now you replace any bug with minority of your choice. Minorities are human beings. All right. We need to work together to kill other species. Other bugs. <laughs> the whole thing is we dehumanize other humans like they are bugs and stomp them out like bugs. Man. No, I mean that—that that is what humans do. We work. Where together. is it going? Anything else? <laughs> Colin just wants <laughs> to spread the good word of democracy. Yeah. No, and that I—I I get what I think he's um, referencing this thing I see on YouTube. All the Hell Divers Two, I guess. Is super no, don't ask if you played it. And it looks really fun. I don't have a system played on, but Hell Divers Two looks like Starship Troopers: The Game, which makes me feel like we don't really need a sequel. Maybe that game is the sequel that I want. Um. <laughs> But yes, I mean, humans, we kill everything good. We're good. Actually, uh, as a as an aside to this, I joke, but there is, I get also, like, I really don't like violence. Sometimes I think about the root of it. And this is a really hippie thought. If you want, I'll joke about violence, but I'll give you a really, really hippie thought. It's because I think back to the root of stuff and, like, were we really that violent when we were tribes wandering around and we didn't really come into contact? There was no need to be violent, really. And, um... Humans have always been violent toward one another, Colin. Mm -hmm. It's well, been part of, part, part of humanity ever since. Humanity I, it's just a thing. Occasionally, but how much is no, it? No, we it, we all always time. were. Yeah. Because we always we, want we we always want to go take this thing over there, and it's always happened among civilizations. I just it, think <laughs> I'm saying just, it was Colin uh, pictures kid man walking around smoking weed. I, hey man. <laughs> no, when it was when it was like tribes of people, like a hundred or two hundred in a tribe, and you know Robert Sapolsky, the uh, Harvard neuroscientist, he studied baboons for thirty years. Yeah, is one troop of baboons, and he found that uh, they naturally form hierarchies. And he's thinking, what sort of uh, biological impetus drives this? And he finds out it's all to do with stress. Uh, the the most genetically fit, the strongest, they uh, are absolute shits to the ones below them, and in turn, they're absolute shits to the ones below them. Yeah. And it's all about deferring cortisol because cortisol is the stress hormone, the sort of fight or flight hormone. But prolonged exposure causes epigenetic changes in uh, the sort of offspring. So he's. Uh, mm -hmm. ex decided that or he surmised that the idea the reason 
it's selected for this. It's the reason we do form hierarchies. The reason we are shits to each other yeah. is a cortisol sort of deference system. So mm -hmm. that the best genes aren't uh, altered or, or kept pure mm -hmm. because they're not sort of altered by prolonged cortisol exposure. Interesting. So yeah, we've always been shits, even before we were good. human. That's a good uh, a way to explain it. I like that. I like that. See, now I don't know my hippie thought seems to. <laughs> but see, I also, I always want to thunk. <laughs> I know. But like, because humans, we probably were fighting and killing Neanderthals and other human-like species that have all gone extinct. But then I also think that even though we're violent, I feel like 99% of the time, 99% of us are just sitting around chilling. Like, it's not like we're running around fighting all well, of us. Well, now, nowadays, mm -hmm. I mean, it is like that. Um, but well, back then, most people are no busy technology. trying to live their life. Yeah. You know, it's like the ones in charge, the ones kind of running the show, it feels like they are guiding a lot of bad things that happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my, my theory is that if we're in small enough groups, you kind of needed everyone to get along. So it wouldn't have made sense to like be shits to each other and be liars and be violent to each other if if you kind of needed each other to survive because i mean well, human babies are worthless like we take two years of care and it's one person can't really raise a baby like it takes the whole village like like we have to be peaceful to survive in a sense so i i'm not if you want to imagine what uh, sort of proto humans were like just look at monkeys and apes right, right. Right, I know that. So I'm not pretty chill, but like they'll also rip your face off and throw oh, poop at you. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, here's but then. So I was thinking of like, whenever we domesticated animals, that seemed like a fucked up thing to take something's freedom away and but not kill it, but like raise it in captivity. And I know that early domesticated animals probably had it pretty good, like they had big fields and shit. But it seems like. See, this is probably too much of a hippie thought, I know. I, I like the scientific, like you said, with genetics and Brit. That, to me, makes more sense. Like, I hear that shit, and I know that's the logical shit. But I also like my little hippie thoughts, where it's like, man, once we started caging up animals and just living with that idea of, like, the oh, fuck that shit. Like, that's my thing now. Like, and then that became just part of our culture for thousands of years, to the point that it's just second nature to see animals sometimes as our things whereas like did it always weren't it we were more like before that it was what I'm animals surprised you were to say that with all the women locked up in your basement <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were wondering if you were like committing a murder or something yeah. in the hood well like what types of animals just are you talking with are you, what I'm doing are, are you so talking about up. like you mean like dogs yeah, like, we started, or... no like uh cows and sheep and animals once we started raising them to be slaughtered it seems like a fucked up thing. It seems different than hunting them, where it's like, I'll kill you, but it's ultimately it's me or you, and maybe that's, they have that. Yeah, well, that's. I think that's also just a product of societies growing bigger, so... I mean, not yeah... always going to have a hunter-gatherer. It's, it's it's too big I mean, for that. Logistics drove it, but what with the side product... The side byproduct of the logistic is that then our, psych, our psychologically, our culture adapts to thinking of uh, other animals as just our, our product. You know what I mean? To be raised well, here's a fun thing for you. That's known as animal husbandry. And the reason it's known as right. animal husbandry is because husband means master. Mm -hmm. So a Wait. husband is the master of the women animals. Right. Right. Which seems messed up, right? Like, it seems like it shouldn't. We, I don't know. See, that's my I'm being a. <laughs> but yeah, and then also the problem is all the human pacifists cultures just get killed off by the, their warlike neighbors so mm -hmm. it's like there's been plenty of times where humans have been like we won't fight and then they they don't last long like in pennsylvania before we were a country the colony of pennsylvania was run by some pacifist like i forget what the pen, whatever those pacifist people are up in i like the amish the quakers and yeah, they were yeah, like the quakers we're not going to fight. And there was all these Indians come marching on Philadelphia or something. And the pacifists like ran the government and they're like, what are we going to do? And the pacifists like, well, we're not fighting. And then all the people are like, all right, you guys are out because we are fighting. So that's just what happens when 
when pacifists run shit is eventually they don't run shit anymore because no because someone comes along and takes it from them yeah yeah that sucks sashi yeah (laughs) yeah unfortunately that's messed up i see because it's messed up because weed makes people want to hang people less so if the people (laughs) if the people doing the hanging smoked weed (laughs) why are we hanging people (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, Sasha, you're already hung enough. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Man, I see, are... now, I don't, now I feel like a hypocrite if I don't watch these Starship Trooper movies. But see, if they're not very. Well, what, did you see I any of them, them, Simon? And the sequels, no. Because I was just wondering if they were any good. They probably are not, though. Someone I mean, mentioned I've that heard, the animated like a third one, one. Is, is good or something. Okay. Uh, someone said that the animated one. Yeah, that one might is better. be worth watching. I never really, it's just never in the mood, I guess. It probably could be cool, though. Animation. I think I just liked the original yeah. so much. I wanted, that's what I mean. I wanted another Paul Verhoeven live action Starship Trooper. That's, I wanted more. That, I really liked the, that movie. Oh, okay. So the sequels were bad. Right. I believe you because they kind of look like they would be bad. I like. Straight- After I said that, I thought maybe it's the uh, Tremors sequels. I'm thinking of. Oh, Tremors is a really good mil- movie. I, Artur, you need to watch Tremors. You've never seen yeah. that. You've never, never seen, seen Tremors. Tremors. He's never seen Tremors. No. The classic. So many good movies he's never seen, I, and you know what? It's been decades since I've seen the first one, and I've only seen it once. Apparently, uh, Kevin Bacon loved- hated that movie. Really? For a really? long time. He, no, he was going through but like a lot of bad shit in his life oh, at that okay. point. Okay. And uh, he took the movie just for a check. And in his head, like, uh, Tremors represented everything that was bad about his life at that point. But then oh, over time, yeah, he's going yeah. to appreciate it and go, oh, well, it's actually a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. It oh, and cool. the guy who played in Remo Williams, Arturo, was in was Fred in Ward. That. Fred Ward. Yeah, Fred Ward. Reba McIntyre. Reba McIntyre, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a fun... Really? He hasn't seen Arachnophobia yet, either. That's good, but that's not Tremors good. Yeah. It would... Yeah. I've, I've seen Arachnophobia more than Tremors, though. Tremors has, like... I don't know. It's not... It, like... As a kid, it was kind of had scary moments, but it also has... I mean, like, maybe because the characters, there's kind of a light... There's a playful funness to it, I think, because probably the characters, Kevin Bacon's really cool. But there's almost like some humor mixed in with the whole oh, yeah. action. It, it was comedic. I remember there was there were some comedic moments. Yeah. It was fun. Oh, Definitely it's such a fun. good movie. You gotta Yeah. Oh. Arturo, we need to watch that. When we were kids, Tremors was one of our favorite games to play. You know, when, when you're kids and you get like your toy guns and you run around the backyards and make a no, I never played the Tremors game. Well, just no, I mean like how any kid sees a movie and or a show and they're like, Okay, now he likes to act it out. And we always would do tremors because it was like these monsters that could go under the ground wherever. So we'd always have to like climb up a tree or some playground equipment, you know, um, to get away from them and shoot them. And yeah, tremors. Well, the good news is when you're older, you'll get to play tremors again. No, <laughs> the tremors will play me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I think that wraps up our, our little series on this one. So that was fun. I'm sorry if uh, things were a little bit shaky at the beginning. Didn't get off to mm-hmm. the best start. I was not prepared. We had not gone over our years. Maybe we'll remember to do that next time. Make sure we don't have conflict. So um, I can't think of anything else to say. Do you guys have, have anything to add before I end the stream? I just missed the day. I, I know, know all of us really wanted the day, but <laughs> we didn't get the day. So <sighs> yeah, Simon. it would have been good to have. D here. He's he's yeah, always Yeah, he always adds yeah. so much to the conversation, but he's This is only he, two hours. We got under two hours, we're done. Yeah, we got started early. And and I had mm-hmm. even said something to Artur, like I could set a timer so we don't go too long. Because I know, you know, on weeknights it's harder for D because he you know, he has the he has a like a you know, regular all day type of job. So yeah. that was another reason like why I started um the I I started uh liking the thought of beginning our streams earlier. Well, yeah. we can extend it if you want. Starship Troopers or Tremors? You mean the discussion? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, oh, oh, the, from like, last night. Of from last night, <laughs> all like the verses hour, yeah. we were doing from last night. Uh, definitely um, Tremors. Wait, which movie you like better? Yeah, like Arturo yeah. got on this. So we, I was on a last minute stream with Arturo last night, and it turned into this big thing where he kept asking. It was basically the theme was Western movies versus Eastern movies. Well, and, actually, yeah. it was more about just no the not quality just of just entertainment or writing, like yeah. every entertainment product. So then it, he kept at, he was throwing me these these things like, "What do you like best? This or this? And this or this?" And it just like I think we went on for like an hour. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> Sashi so or Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I was so uh -oh. tired. Uh, so your homework, oh gosh, hold on. I, I was looking for this last night. I had written it down. Um, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, oh, shoot. Zar Zardoz or... Zardoz, that, yeah. Zardoz and... Um, <laughs> I forgot the other one, and I wrote it down. And Sashi I is like, and I lost when I was away from the stream. And I, <laughs> yeah, you did. You also you were away from the. Yeah, yeah, I know. It felt like it. We we were at it for a bit. It was pretty late by the time we stopped. Oh, we could do it again. You want to do it again? <laughs> no, not really, because I have work I got to do. Probably get back to trying to finish the stupid taxes that gave me a headache. Gosh, I don't remember the last one, Enigma. Um. Dungeons and Dragons, Zardov. Are you talking the Honor Among Thieves or? Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. It was um, the last Sambu Theater live stream we had, and we picked our three movies. Well, Zardoz is extra credit because I didn't want to see it, but it because it, it looks it's, so it's actually kind of fun. It is, it's good. Jeff did say it wasn't as bad. It's not. Oh gosh, stream. I used to come home at so night and watch and watch it. just whatever was on TV. And that happened to be on. I was like, what the fuck is this? Right, because the <laughs> costumes. <laughs> and I watched it, and it wasn't that bad. Okay. All right. I mean, you know, he said it was for extra credit, but I was like, of course you know I'm going to watch it because I don't want to feel like, oh, here we go. Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Been a long time since I watched that. Yeah, I don't, I've never seen it. Um, Sarah Pauly's in it. Yeah, we, yeah, we talked about the cast, I remember, the last time. So I've got my work cut out for me, and the goal is to be able to be back in time for the stream on the 17th, to be back from New Jersey. Yeah. We'll see. So, uh, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up then, y'all. We don't have anything else to add. No. Say hi to Bon Jovi for me. To Bon Jovi? Oh, does he live in NJ? Mm-hmm. He's famously from New Jersey. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I never, uh, I, I obviously I've never seen him, uh, have <laughs> VHS and it up in Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for joining us. It was a lot of fun and we will, we don't know what our next, um, subject will be, but we will figure it out between now and the next month. And hopefully Thank we'll be able it. to continue first of the month now, since we you got to do a poll. Of... Say what? You the should do a poll with the options in the. Yeah, Private that's chat. a good idea. I like that idea, actually, because we came up with a bunch of different good ones. Mm -hmm. And um, I agree. I will do that. I'll put a poll up in the community section of my channel. All right, guys. Adios. Oh,